so my name is Tracy Lafferty. For those of you who don't know me, I'm the Director of Development and Communications here at AMS. I've been working with the, uh, this incredible ministry for the last 10 years. Um, and I'm joined today, uh, our presenters um, for tonight are Dr. Emile Olivieri and Lester Lorente. And I'm gonna go ahead and have them introduce themselves briefly. Hi, I'm Dr. Emil Olivieri. I have been, wor been working with AMOS for two years now as a health program manager with seven years experience in rural communities and NGOs in Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Guatemala. So I'm very excited to be here. Buenas tardes, mi nombre es Lester Lorente. Actualmente tengo nueve años de trabajar en Fundación AMOS y me desempeño como coordinador de programas rurales. Inicié trabajando en AMOS en la parte de los proyectos de filtros de agua, trabajando con las delegaciones y misiones en las instalaciones de filtros de agua. Estoy muy emocionado de compartir con ustedes las novedades del programa. So Lester is our rural primary health care coordinator and he's been working at Amos for nine years and uh, we're super excited to have them be able to share. Lester has been very involved um, and uh, in his early, early years was a big part of the, the water filter program, the wash program, and uh, probably worked alongside a lot of you if you've come down on a mission trip uh, to Nicaragua over the past 10 years. So, uh, so great to have you, Lester, and be able to share with us. So I'm going to actually turn it right over to Dr. Emil, who's going to um, start us out by just reminding us a little bit about why we're here, why water, um, and the importance of uh, wash in our communities. Thank you, Christy. So as we know, all human beings need water to survive. When was the last time you thought about where your water came from? Or if the water you were drinking or cooking was clean enough? Drinking unsafe water impairs health through illnesses such as diarrhea and untreated excreta, contaminates groundwater and surface waters for drinking, irrigation, batting, and household purposes. About 88% of diarrhea associated with deaths in the world are attributable to unsafe water, inadequate sanitation, and insufficient hygiene. Diarrhea is a preventable disease that is among the top five causes of death in low-income countries. In 2010, Amos realized that 80% of families in our partner communities did not have access to safe water and sanitation services. Amos realized we needed to take actions and be part of a solution. Safe drinking water, sanitation, and hygiene are crucial to human health and well being. Safe wash is not only a prerequisite to health, but contributes to livelihoods, the school attendance, and dignity, helps to create resilient communities living in healthy environments. Desde el 2010, han pasado más de 10 años en que iniciamos este sueño de llevar agua apta para el consumo humano a las personas que habitan en las comunidades a las que AMOS brinda acompañamiento. Hi everyone, I'm Lydia and I'll be translating for Lester today. Uh, in 2010, more than 10 years ago, we began the dream of making safe drinking water accessible to vulnerable families living in the communities where AMOS serves. Estos años han estado llenos de muchos logros, pero también de retos que se han convertido en lecciones aprendidas. Todo esto nos ha ayudado a mejorar nuestra intervención y a contribuir de la mejor forma en la reducción de la inequidad para el acceso al agua acta para el consumo humano. During these years, we have had many achievements, but we have also faced challenges that have become learned lessons. All of this has helped us to improve our program intervention and contribute in the best possible way to reducing inequities in access to clean water. Pero gracias al valioso apoyo de todos ustedes, de todos los donantes que han confiado en el trabajo que realizamos como AMOS, hemos logrado instalar más de 1,700 filtros, beneficiando a más de 1,600, a más de 6,900 personas en 22 comunidades rurales. Thanks to the generosity of many supporters, like all of you here today, we have managed to install more than 1,700 water filters in 22 communities, benefiting more than 6,900 people. El año pasado, como parte de nuestros procesos de renovación de entendimiento de las principales causas que afectan la salud de las personas, realizamos una evaluación del programa. Con estos resultados, nosotros podremos seguir mejorando las intervenciones del programa. Last year, as part of our process of renewing our understanding of the main causes that affect people's health, we carried out an evaluation of the WASH program. And with these results, we will be able to continue improving it. 
Para ello, seleccionamos una muestra de ocho comunidades, visitamos 40 viviendas y recolectamos 100, 120 muestras de agua para ver si los filtros siguen siendo efectivos al momento de remover las bacterias. In order to do this, we selected a sample of eight communities. There, we visited 40 homes and collected 120, 120 water samples to check if water filters continue to be effective in removing bacteria. También tomamos muestras de las principales 16 fuentes de agua de estas comunidades, de las cuales provienen pues, de quebrada, ojos de agua, pozos artesanales, pozos perforados. Eh, y conversamos con 122 personas para conocer su opinión sobre el uso de los filtros de agua. We also took samples from the main water sources in these eight communities for a total of 16 samples from different water sources like streams, springs, hand excavated wells, drilled wells. And we also talked to 122 people to find out their feedback and their perception about the use of the water filters. Las muestras recolectadas fueron analizadas en laboratorios certificados con el fin de analizar parámetros bacteriológicos, así como otras propiedades eh, que se encuentran en el agua y que pueden provocar enfermedades en las personas y afectar el funcionamiento de los filtros de agua. The collected water samples were analyzed in certified laboratories in order to know if there was presence of bacteria and to evaluate other water properties that may be associated with illnesses or that can affect the functioning of some of the water filters. Los parámetros que evaluamos fueron E. coli. El E. coli puede causar diarrea, disentería y otras enfermedades potencialmente mortales. En la actualidad, como mencionó el doctor Olivieri, eh, la diarrea se encuentra dentro de las primeras cinco causas de muerte eh, infantil, que causan muerte infantil. When we conducted the water sources analysis, we looked at different aspects. And one of them was uh, E. coli, because E. coli can cause diarrhea, dysentery, and other life-threatening illnesses. And right now, currently, diarrhea is among the top five causes of infant death around the globe. El pH, que es una medida que indique la acidez en el agua, las altas concentraciones de pH pueden provocar irritaciones en la mucosa de las personas y en algunas ocasiones úlceras. También esto puede dañar el funcionamiento de los filtros. We also looked at the pH of water. The, the pH is a measure that indicates the acidity of the water. Uh, we know that high concentrations of pH can cause irritation of the mucus, either mouth or stomach, and in some cases, uh, stomach ulcers. They can also damage some of the parts of the water filters. La turbidez, que es una medida de cuán relativamente claras parece el agua, esta también afecta el funcionamiento de los filtros y además puede brindar una falsa percepción de protección en las personas al pensar que si el agua es transparente, entonces está libre de contaminación. We also looked at turbidity. Uh, this is a measure of how relatively clear the water appears. And this also uh, may affect you know, certain levels of turbidity may affect the lifespan of the filters. But most important, it, it can also provide a false perception of safe water for people who think that transparent water means it's okay to drink. Y el arsénico que en grandes eh, cantidades puede provocar envenenamiento, cáncer y otros afectos graves en la salud de las personas. We also tested the water for arsenic because in large amounts, it can cause poisoning, cancer, and other serious health effects. Dentro de los principales resultados, encontramos que 14 de las 16 fuentes de agua analizadas había presencia de E. coli. En dos de estas fuentes de agua, los niveles de contaminación fueron muy alarmantes, sobre todo porque en ambas fuentes, los niveles de turbidez eran muy bajos. Es decir, el agua era súper transparente, bien clarita, pero estaba altamente contaminada con E. coli. So, some of the interesting results that we got was that out of the 16 water sources that we analyzed, we detected the presence of E. coli in 14 of them. And in two water sources, the levels of this contamination are so alarming, so high, especially because in both sources, the levels of the turbidity are very low, meaning that 
it appears to be very transparent water. And at a first glance, people could believe that it is safe water to drink. También identificamos la presencia de arsénico en cinco de las 16 muestras de agua, eh, pero las concentraciones estaban dentro de lo aceptado por la OMS y las normativas de agua de Nicaragua. We also identified the presence of arsenic in five of the 16 water sources, but the concentrations are all accepted by the World Health Organization standards and also by Nicaraguan regulations. Desde el año 2010 hemos instalado diferentes filtros de agua, de cerámica, de arena y de fibra de membrana hueca. During all these years, since 2010, we have installed different types of filters, ceramic, biosand, and hollow membrane fiber filters. Para conocer la eficacia de la remoción de las bacterias de estos filtros, analizamos 120 muestras de agua. La selección fue basada en el acceso a las comunidades, en el acceso a los filtros, en la disposición de las personas en aceptarnos, en recibirnos bajo el contexto de COVID eh, y en los cuales pues tomamos en consideración también las regiones, los tipos de filtro y el año de instalación de estos filtros. In order to find out how effective each type of filter is when it comes to the removal of bacteria, we analyze a total of 120 water samples from 40 homes. The selection was made based on access to the communities, access to the filters, and the willingness of families to participate in this study, especially given the context of the pandemic. And we also took into account uh, the different regions, the different types of filters, and the years of use of these filters, meaning when, when they were installed first. Los resultados nos indican que los filtros siguen siendo altamente efectivos en la remoción de la bacteria. De los filtros analizados, el filtro de fibra de membrana hueca modelo SAN3 ha sido el más efectivo con un 99.77% de remoción. Pero otro hallazgo muy importante, muy llamativo para nosotros, fueron que los filtros de arena instalados hace 10 años siguen siendo muy efectivos con un 97% de remoción. The results indicate that the filters continue to be highly effective for the removal of bacteria. The SAM3 model fiber filter uh, is the most effective with an efficacy of 99.77%. And a surprising but very happy finding was that the biosand filters continue to be very effective in bacteria removal, even after 10 years of use. And their efficacy is 97%, so that's pretty high. Como parte de la evaluación, realizamos grupos focales en los cuales participaron 122 personas. Los participantes fueron personas que en su momento habían sido beneficiados por el programa, pero que no necesariamente tenían su filtro activo. Dentro de los principales hallazgos fue que las personas beneficiadas por los filtros de cerámica expresaron que habían enfrentado muchos retos en el mantenimiento de este tipo de filtro, que ellos consideran que necesitan mayor acompañamiento para fortalecer sus conocimientos y habilidades en el cuidado y mantenimiento de este tipo de filtro. Also, as part of the evaluation, we conducted focus groups and we had 122 people participate in. These were people who had benefited from the WASH program, but who did not necessarily have their filter in a good condition. And one of the findings is that people who had ceramic filters, they said that they have experienced many challenges in performing the maintenance of this type of filter. Uh, and we think it's mainly due to the fragility of the ceramic candle, which is a part of this filter. And these people express that the need for more support to continue strengthening their knowledge and skills on how to take care and how to give the maintenance their filter needs. Otro hallazgo importante fue que todas las personas que participaron en los grupos focales expresaron desear eh, continuar trabajando con los filtros de agua. Expresan que al inicio el uso de los filtros eh, se vuelve un poco complejo, pero que con el acompañamiento adecuado pues se vuelve fácil de utilizar. Además, ellos tienen una alta percepción acerca del uso de los filtros para mejorar la salud de las personas. Esto fue eh, justificado o validado por los promotores de salud que participaron en estos grupos focales, los cuales expresaron que desde que se instalaron los filtros de agua, ellos están atendiendo menos casos de parasitosis. We're very happy to report that 
everyone who participated in the focus groups expressed that they want to continue using the water filters. They mentioned that at the beginning, it is a bit difficult to use and take care of the filters, but with time and support and education about this, they become really easy to use. And we're also, we were also very happy to find out that there is a high population perception that the use of water filters significantly helps to improve their health. And this was also validated by the health promoters who participated and who expressed that since the moment we installed the water filters in their communities, they have seen fewer cases of parasites and waterborne illnesses. Well, I want to just say a big thank you to Dr. Emil and Lester and just mention for those of you on the call, we have several of our staff here, but there were many other staff involved in, in this study. And we actually didn't mention this, but uh, part of uh, this study was working with some um, an outside uh, group of consultants who are specialized in this, who supported this to help, you know, validate um, the results of the study with us. So, um, Thank you so much for sharing those results. I want to just share briefly, some of you may have uh, read a little bit of the story today if you received uh, one of the emails we sent out. Um, but I want to share a quote from a mom in one of the communities that we work with in this in this photo is Aliset. Um, and she shared with us this year a little bit about her experience as a recipient of a filter in her home. Um, and so what she said was life is so much better because we can drink safe and clean water. To me, having a filter means health, but families need to also learn about habits to stay healthy and teach children about hand washing and other hygiene practices so we can reduce diarrhea and parasites. That is part of what good health means too. Um, I think this is a beautiful quote because one of the things that we'll share in a little bit um, is that the water filters have been such an important part of this program and our work with communities and trying to increase access to clean and safe drinking water. Um, but we have found that uh, throughout our years working in the communities that just installing water filters is not enough. So we do uh, want to emphasize that um, we aren't quite there to assuring 100%, you know, access for all of the families in the communities that we work with to uh, safe, clean drinking water. And Adi Set, um, I actually spoke with her and one of the things that she lifted up and something we shared in, in that email today was that her mom uh, who lives nearby actually uh, doesn't have a filter yet. And uh, she's really hoping that uh, her mom can be one of the families who benefits in the future from the filter um, so that her kids, if they go to visit her, you know, they always have uh, clean and safe drinking water and access to that. Um, so there are still many households, there's still need, and we want to be able to share with you just some of our, our plans and next steps. And now that we have learned all of this from the study, um, what is uh, in the works coming next? So I'm going to pass it back over to Dr. Emil. So how can we help Aliset Mom? How can we contribute to the Sustainable Development Goal number six, which is ensure access to water and sanitation for all? What are our next steps for 2022? Well, our plan is to install 250 water filters, perform analysis of water sources in 15 rural communities, train and equip 31 wash promoters in six rural communities, hold water filters supervision in at least six rural communities. As Lester and Christy mentioned, uh, the 10 year evaluation that showed that water filter installation alone is not enough. Uh, so this plan was constructed under the community-based primary health care framework to strengthen community empowerment and educate families through their own local leaders. The goal is to improve access to clean water, but also hygiene and sanitation practices focused on preventing diseases. But for all that is needed, we won't be able to cover all that in one year. And mainly because diarrhea is the third cause of hospitalization in Nicaragua for 2021, according to the Ministry of Health. So we constructed a plan according to a strategic plan for three years, right? Also in a WASH program, which is continued training and equipping the 100, 147 WASH promoters, install 750 water filters and follow up on those previously installed water quality analysis and the constructions of latrines. So uh, as you all know, there's a lot of work, dedication, uh, time, travel out to these rural communities for our team. Um, but there's also resources needed to be able to accomplish this. 
this work and this goal of having uh, families in the, in the communities that we work with have access to clean water. So um, right now, today on World Water Day and over the next two weeks, we're going to be sharing more of those, those stories uh, with our network of support. And we have a goal of uh, trying to raise $50,000 in 2022 to support these plans um, for this year. So we want to just be able to invite all of you and uh, share briefly, you know, a couple of the ways that you can help um, so this is a, a representation of, you know, $50 can help supply two watch promoters with the educational materials they need. Um, it's about $100 for us to be able to provide a water filter for one family um, so they have safe, clean drinking water at home. Uh, $265 can help equip a wash promoter with all the supplies that they need, uh, not just the educational materials, but a backpack and um, the PBE and um, other things that help them fix the filters uh, so they can go to those families' homes and, and help uh, respond to the need there. And $500 can help us support a one-week training. Uh, when we go, our team goes out uh, to work and build up that uh, community knowledge and uh, the work that they're going to be doing to to keep training and educating their neighbors, um, those, those continuing trainings in the regions where we work um, for our wash promoters are gonna be super important as well. So um, on the screen, you can see um, a couple of ways that you can support if you're so moved and inspired to help support this program. So definitely uh, check uh, the address that's on the screen there. Um, you can find that on our website or a link uh, to our website, uh, amoshealth.org slash donate is another great way that you can support this program. 